after last weekend's narrow win at the Liberty Stadium, the Ospreys head west to Parker Scarlets this Saturday for the return leg in the Pro 12. Join us now at Landarcy Academy of Sport as we look ahead to the game with Chris Gibbs and Scott Baldwin. Gibbo, uh, second leg of the Scarlets back-to-back -back this weekend. How difficult is it when you face the same team in a quick turnaround like that? Is it a different way of preparing for a match than normally? Yeah, it has its challenges, positive and negative. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we'll take a bit of learning out of what we saw out of them the other night. Um, and again, they, they'll be doing the same. So again, it's making sure that, uh, you know, you just, I think you just got to dot your I's and cross your T's really and make sure you get your preparation sorted for these types of games. The dust has settled on the first game. It was a win for the Ospreys. Kept us top of the table going into the new year, but from the feedback I'm listening from coaches and players alike, uh, really it was a case of uh, disappointment in the camp despite the win. Absolutely. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's a derby game and you'll take the win for sure. And uh, again, you know, again, it's a team like the Scarlets, you're definitely happy with that um, to take the win. But from a performance perspective, we were nowhere near where we want to be. And, uh, you know, again, we've just got to make sure we get that right when we go down there this week. Um, or else we're going to probably be on the back end of it. So, um, yep, take the win. But from a performance point of view, nowhere near where we want to be. What do you do to put that right in the space of a week? I think, again, you just keep coming back to preparation and just the small things, uh, making sure from a game plan perspective that we've got um, clarity of role and we know what we're doing. Um, again, just making sure that we get the little things in our face play right. Um, and I think also, too, just making sure that, you know, uh, understanding that uh, if we get one area wrong, it, there's a knock-on effect. So we just got to make sure we just, you know, again, it's just the basics done well. Going to Parker Scarlets, unbeaten at home throughout the whole of 2014, so that's the size of the challenge we're facing. Yeah, hell of a record, isn't it, down there? And, uh, you know, if the weather, weather comes out and, and plays its part, it's going to be a great spectacle. Um, you know, they're a tough side and anywhere you play them. So, again, on their home patch, it's going to be a big challenge. And, again, just something for us that we've got to, you know, we've got to stick in the back of our head. We're going down there. It's going to be pretty loud, pretty parochial. Um, and, again, hopefully we can get a few Osprey supporters down there to, 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 to cheer us on. I'm sure they will. But... Uh, Tough place to play, um, but again, great challenge for us and just one we're looking forward to. And the one thing to bear in mind looking forward to the rest of the season is it is just one game, whatever happens, win, lose or draw, there's a lot of challenges still to come between now and May. Yeah, yeah, we're halfway really through in the competition, aren't we? And uh, again, it's just a matter of us making sure we take one game at a time, like you say. And, uh, you know, again, we've just we've got to get our performance sorted out. It wasn't good enough on Saturday. We got the win, but uh, it's nowhere near the standard that we've set ourselves this year. Um, and again, Saturday presents us an opportunity to get that right. Um, so, you know, we're really excited. Um, we know that they're going to be up for the challenge. Um, you know, so they've been saying. So, uh, you know, again, it's just a matter of us getting our bits and pieces right and, and looking forward to getting down there. Maybe a new year, but it's old rivalries renewed at the Liberty Stadium next Sunday when the Ospreys take on Newport Quent Dragons on the 11th of January. Kickoff is at 4 pm and tickets are available from the ticket office and online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets. Buy online and you can print at home to avoid the match day queues. Supporters can also take advantage of our flexi ticket package, giving you four games for just £59. That's the best and most affordable way to support the cause this year. If you're involved with the rugby club or school team, why not book your group in to be the guard of honour in the fan zone or even bench warmers with our special group packages. All group bookends will also receive a voucher for each person for Nando's to exchange for a half chicken or a bottomless drink with a minimum spend of £5. For more information on group ticketing, please call 01792 616512 or email tickets at ospreysrugby.com. Got a few days on from Saturday's game at the Liberty Stadium. It was a win for the Ospreys. Not the best of performances, though. What's the mood in the camp like building up to round two? Um, obviously, we've been pretty hard on ourselves uh, Monday, Tuesday, um, by the performance on the weekend. But uh, the bottom line, we got the result. We maybe, like Big said, got out of jail. Um, but from our point of view, uh, this week we've been working on the small things which we got wrong on the weekend. 
um, in the second half, which um, we looked to put right this weekend at uh, Park of Scarlet. You were in the heat of the battle in the front row last weekend, and it looked a bit tough there at times. The Scarlet seemed to have the upper hand. Uh, what can we put right for this weekend's game? Um, yeah, obviously uh, coming to the pump a bit on the weekend, uh, scrum time. Um, I think this week we've just worked on the little things again, same as uh, player on the field. Um, there's no massive changes. Um, just as a front row, we need to get our part right this weekend. The back five have been giving us a uh, great weight uh, the last four or five weeks. So um, it's our job to get it right Saturday down there and hopefully um, get some hopefully dominance down there and uh, try and take it to them on their own patch. I think listening to the coaches speaking, um, it's been a case of worrying about what we do rather than worrying too much about the Scarlets. Just getting our own things right, ready and, and be on top form when we go there on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. It's all about, uh, from our point of view, it's all about what we do and how we take the game to them Saturday. Um, obviously, we know what they're going to bring. They could to the contact area. Um, so that's something we focused on this week and something uh, we're looking to put right. And uh, hopefully, if we can get the platform up front for the backs, they can uh, do what they've been doing all season. In these derby matches, a lot of passion and a lot of commitment flying around. Um, but sometimes you need to be a bit more detached, a bit more professional and just play the game. Yeah, we spoke about that Monday morning, obviously going down there. Um, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, but it's probably going to be the opposite to what it was last weekend with the fans are screaming uh, for us, they're going to be screaming for them. Um, and uh, it's down to us to get things right. And if we get things right, then uh, hopefully we can silence the crowd. Hopefully we'll get the winning performance and then we'll come back to the Liberty Stadium the following weekend for another Welsh derby. The Dragons, a chance to keep that good run against Wernsel, Welsh opposition going. Yeah, obviously we've had a great record at home this season. Um, so next week that, that'll be a focus, but this week um, we don't under underestimate the Scarlets at all and we are so focused. Uh, this week has been on uh, the Scarlets and uh, what they bring and uh, obviously tomorrow afternoon uh, is our sole focus and hopefully we can get a result down there. That's all for now. Don't forget the tickets for the Ospreys home games in January against Newport Quent Dragons and Northampton Saints are on sale now at all the usual outlets. Make sure you buy yours and support the cause this January. <laughs>